and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for our first deck in our 4th of July stream here, which is going to be Sultai Cavaliers. This is another sweet donation deck from Julius that looks very strong. So Julius donated for the Junt Cavaliers that we played a few days ago, and, and honestly, this deck's looking better. Uh, Risen Reef is just a very, very powerful magic card. Um, you know, being able to put extra lands into play or just draw cards for every elemental, very powerful magic card, especially with all of these new elementals that we have, all these five drops. These are all just really good cards also. Um, so this deck can, can really just turn through the deck um, quickly, as as you'll be able to see. And it's just a really, really powerful deck. Uh, I played a couple of practice matches with it. It felt pretty strong. So excited to play this deck here today. But uh, yeah, basically we, we got it. You know, we're your rock deck. Yesterday we played Sultai Yurok, and I kind of like what's going... And it's very similar to what we have going on here, honestly, the deck that we played yesterday. But the Risen Reefs are, are just so good. Yesterday I played Elvish Rejuvenator, and it's nowhere close to being the power of Risen Reef. So going towards Risen Reef is definitely the way to go. We do have a whole lot of Cavalier Gales and Cavalier of Knights that may be a little tricky to cast and, and everything, but they're both very good in the deck. Like Cavalier Gales, for example, you get to draw three, put two back. You can put lands back on top. And then with, you know, stack your stack your triggers. So you do this one first, put lands back on top, and then you use your Risen Reef triggers to put the lands straight onto the battlefield uh, to help ramp you, uh, which is pretty nice there. Of course, Cavalier of Night sacrifices any of, like, these little creatures to destroy a creature. And then plus, whenever the Cavalier of Night dies... We get to return these things like Risen Reef or any of these Explore creatures back from the graveyard to the battlefield. So not a whole lot of interaction. There's some. We just have the Cavalier Knights and Cast Downs. Um, not a whole lot of interaction, but so much value in this deck. So, um, yeah, this is Sultai Value Town. This really is. Um, all right, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's try our... Sultai Cavalier deck for today. Sorry, I said setting that up. Hey, Sergeant Dimples. Thanks. Yeah, that was a lot of. Yeah, the stream yesterday was a lot of fun, and I am ready to get some more M20 action in here. Yeah, the new Chandra Zero that makes two elementals does trigger trigger Risen Reef. Yep. Yeah, so with Risen Reef in play with that Chandra, uh, yeah, you get to either draw two cards or if they're lands, you put them straight on the battlefield. It's very powerful. We're going to be putting those two together in the Neoform Elementals deck that we're going to be playing up next that we didn't get to yesterday. Um, I'm not sure of like a really good Abzan deck right now. To be honest, like I don't know one like off the top of my head. Um, changes to Selesnia Angels with the new cards. All right, I'm either getting rid of Cavalier Knight or Tamio. I mean, I like both of them. I guess I could just get rid of the Cavalier, I suppose. They're both good, though. Um, I think the Slesnia Angels would probably start using... I think we'd probably start using the, the new 2-drop that's uh, I think Bishop of something. The Bishop that's white, white, 1-4. I think you'd want to play that card. We want lands right now. Yeah, Bishop of Wings. Yeah, Abzan Citadel. There you go. Yeah, yeah. if you're putting an Abzan deck together, I think going with a Citadel deck is a really good choice. Boo. 
All right, so Risen Reef or Cavalier of Gales. Or sorry, Risen Reef or Tamiyo. I can't play the Cavalier of Gales. Uh, um, let's go. And they're both good. Hey, Disposable Hero. Thanks for that resub there for the fourth month. I don't have anything in particular that I really need to try to take out for Tamiyo to try to get right now. It'd be really nice to hit this other, this blue land here. Perfect. Um, let's get an attack in here. All right, so now we're going to be looking for Command the Dread Horde. Okay, yeah. So we'll have to order our triggered abilities. Okay, they had it the correct way. That's that's what I want. So I want to draw three first. Put the two lands back on top. And then uh, reveal that land. Just put it in tapped. All right, so Tamiyo's gonna be, that's what Tamiyo's gonna be looking for, is Command the Dread Horde. Hmm. I mean, if they have their own Command the Dread Horde, them getting my Jade Light Ranger back is kind of annoying. They block with Hydro Crisis, but I guess that does put them down to four if they make that block. Four is not very much life. I didn't realize they were so close to dying already. All right, keep ramping. Ooh, a Cavalier of Night. Wild Growth Walker is also an elemental. We get the trigger. Cool. Draw Command the Dread Horde. Yeah, I don't have a Jeskai deck to play today, but we got we got all sorts of other red, white, and blue going on. All right, so we're going to have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Gosh, we're going to have so many triggers. Um, <laughs> but it just gives them up. All right, seems like we should have another Command the Dread Horde against... Another Wild Growth Walker deck. Do I want the Massacre Girls also? Is like a reset button. Yeah, I don't know when Deckmaster will update. But that'll be a good day for sure whenever Deckmaster updates with them 20 cards. So, of course, Notion Grasp isn't so bad here. Kills Wild Growth Walker. But I don't know. We already have Cast Down. Like, I guess I guess Noxious Grasp is just an upgrade over Cast Down. The big thing Cast Down can do is kill uh, Hostage Taker if they have that. But this kills Nyssa and Tamiyo. So killing Nyssa and Tamiyo is probably an upgrade. Even though it doesn't kill Ho Hostage Taker. Um, it's 
That's basically all I'm going to do. Just going to bring in the extra command, the Dread Horde, cut one of the two 2-1 two flyers. I think with Abzan going towards Citadel and Command the Dread Horde, those cards are just so powerful. I think that's where I'd want to go if I'm playing Abzan. Oh, that's awesome, Vlarkin. Was that so? That was like the deck that I I posted yesterday. The creator of the deck, uh, Disposable Hero, created that deck, the Neo Form Elementals, and they gave me an updated list today. So check that out in the decks and let me know what you think. Um, so I actually, actually kind of deleted the old, I just deleted the old list a little bit ago and, and put in the new list. It has unclaimed territory. Hey, thank you very much. No need to try. I appreciate it. Down, down, down. Ah, stop. Ramp? Ramp. It's always the best option is hitting the land. And now we get to Cavalier Gales next turn. I mean, I could also Risen Reef plus cast down. And then Cavalier Gales gets to hit double land. Hmm. All right, I'll do that with Branch Walker. Or another Wild Growth. The Eldest Reborn, huh? Card seems a little slow. So Cavalier Thorns gets me the most mana. Maybe. Maybe Cavalier of Gales gets me more mana. Nah, Cavalier of Thorns gets me the most mana. And, of course, I think we just want the most mana. Hmm. Not very good at hitting land drops there with the Risen Reefs. So I want to discard one of the Cavaliers unless my opponent has command, unless they have command the Dread Horde. I want to discard a Cavalier. Parappa! Thanks for that sub there. I'll just get rid of the cast down. I'll just play it safe. <laughs> Thanks, Telster. Uh, Mono White loses the absolute most with rotation. Off the top of my head. Hmm. And keep them from getting the Uroc. Oh, 
I don't know. All these triggers. I don't know what's order to put these things. Let's kind of split up these, I guess. Why's my time going down? I'm just trying to do the triggers. Um... Six Risen Reef triggers? That's gonna be a lot of cards. Come on, where's lands? I just want lands. I don't want spells, I need lands. <laughs> it's just all spells. Oh my gosh. Where are the lands? Are you kidding me, it was just six spells? There's no lands anywhere? Yeah, I was thinking this deck could maybe use a Jace. Honestly, like, this deck just mills itself out very fast. Alright, well, we'll get rid of... How many cards we need to discard? Eight? Gosh, that's so many cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you get my Iraq. Gross. Yeah, this deck really honestly mania, Jace. We just can't even like play things because we die, kind of, kind of thing. There's some lands. Hey Rex, happy Independence Day. Uh no, there's there's no there's no algorithm bug in the shuffler at all. Shuffler's just fine. Alright, we are one and oh. Like that's gonna be the thing I'm the most worried about this deck is milling ourselves out. Yeah, there's there's just so much value with this deck. I don't know exactly where we'd throw the Jace in at. Um, like maybe instead of one of the two Tamios, we have a Jace, um, a Jace and a Tamio. Maybe maybe one of the Cavaliers turns into a Jace. That was that was honestly when I was playing it earlier. That's what I was thinking. I was like, man, this deck could use a chase. 
Hey, three mana with the sub. Let's get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much, three mana. Uh, I guess we keep. See what happens. Sub number four on day. Sub number four on the fourth. Well, I got five shock lands against mono red. Hello. So we're starting at 10 life. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if they're going with the tribal planeswalker theme for every set. I I don't think so. I, I would be surprised if they do. I think this was like a special occasion with Ashandra getting three planeswalkers. To be honest. So they're going that plus Wizard's Lightning. <laughs> hey, Night's Watch. Thanks for that sub conversion there. Alright, we'll get JR down before our opponent can firebrand and kill our JR. Uh, it does say lifelink. 3-5 lifelink is pretty cool. Sure, we'll do it. We're in. Hey, Starnut. This, does this look like a... Yeah, this is a red, white, and blue tie. It's actually kind of more red, yellow, and blue than red, white, and blue, but... I think this is the, the best red, white, blue tie I had. I could have just gone with just a straight white tie and have the blue shirt, white tie, red hat. Do y'all think that that would be better? Those are kind of my options. Um, I mean, I have a tie that's like mostly red with a little blue and white stripes on it. Also. But I think that I thought this one looked a little better. All right, so we'd have to shock for your rock. The hat is so red, the tie looks gray. Gray, black, and white. Mm. Hey, Night Owl. Happy birthday, America. Hmm. Tough block here. Tough block here. Because if our opponent has the shock, shock or wizard's lightning, then my Yurok dies. But if I don't block and they have a shock or wizard's lightning, it's not that bad for us. I'm gonna no block. That is skewer. All right, I'd like to draw a cast down or. Cast down a Wild Growth Walker or Branch Walker. Just something something to play here that we don't have to shock, of course. Cast down being the best, but all right, it looks like we'll take the Branch Walker. Hmm. 
This is tough. I keep the Wild Growth Walker on top. I don't actually have an Explore creature to go with it. My land being my hand being six lands is kind of rough. Hmm. Get a five drop. So I attack with your rock, and my opponent blocks, shoots Cloud Seer, Cloud Can Seer. Guess I really should have just blocked last turn, but we'll have the block this turn. Oh no! Oh yay! There's a five drop. Yeah, Cloud Concealer is not is not spectacular. That that could be a spot like where the Jace is. Um It's not spectacular. We're gonna need to find an explore creature as like our next card down. We know we have two watery graves on top. That was the problem was that firebrand. I just couldn't attack with this because of the firebrand. I wouldn't gain any life if I would have attacked. And I couldn't, and so like the other way, if I would have gained life there, that they could also kill the Yurok. I don't know. I was in a tough spot. I I should have I should have just, you know, I ended up uh, being the case where I should have just blocked the first time that Chain Whirler attacked. We would not have gained any life. They would have just blocked. If they would have killed the Yurok, we would have gained life. Yes, or they could have. Just chump blocked with the firebrand and then sacked firebrand before damage. So it was, it was up to our opponent whether or not we gained life there. We don't really have anything for mono red. The Cloudkin Seers and the Risen Reefs, of course, dying to Chain Whirler is a little rough. I want to take these out. Um, I suppose we could play Duress or Negate. And I think I like negate more. Help protect from burn spells off the top. I suppose we're not really going to want to be command the dread hoarding, so I guess I should play duresses also instead of those. Uh, trophy can come in and do something, actually. We'll play trophy over a duress. All right. Hey, Storm. Good evening. Doing good? Having a good 4th of July holiday here. Hmm. I 
Drawing one land kind of turns on our hands with the Jade Light and Risen Reef. And we have, we have like, some good stuff. You know, like, the, the Yurok has lifelink. This thing has lifelink. This thing's just, like, super big. We have, like, some decent stuff against red. Maybe a card that we could have in our sideboard would be, like, um, a couple copies of Reclamation Sage. They could, like, blow up Frenzy. Recl and Reclamation Sage is, like, a card I think we'd really want against Mono White, honestly, with all their enchantments. If we have Yurok that gets to double... Frenzy also could be pretty nice. Yeah, I played the Chandra Tribal deck yesterday, and it went really, really well. Demonic Fire Lord, you gotta check that one out on YouTube. That deck was a whole lot of fun to play. So, of course, my plan here was to play one of the three drops, but the fact that they just have shock here to kill it. Is rough. Ugh. <sighs> Land. Land. Ugh. Yeah, I was hoping to hit the land drop there with the Risen Reef, or maybe, maybe if our top two cards are land, we hit the land drop there, so we have four, we draw another land, we could play a five mana card, or we could have like Jade Light plus cast down. Well, worst case scenario, them having the Lava Runner there that lets them just play that Wizard's Lightning also. That was just all the worst case scenario for us. Or if I would have just not played Risen Reef, could have cast down that Lava Runner also. Yeah, that went very bad for us. No lands also. Alright, so I think... I think the changes I want to make to this deck is the two Cloudkin Seers. I want to get rid of those cards. And I want to put in one Jace. And I want to put it in, in one land. I didn't really look at the lands, to be honest, before. We only have 24, though. We really we should have 25 in here. Uh, of course, last game, all we had were lands. So, like, you know, we had, like, 12 lands last game or whatever. And now we only have three. But... Still, we should have 25 lands because hitting like hitting lands with Risen Reef is like the best things to be hitting most of the time. So we should have a lot of lands. And we just have to get to the Cavalier if we're going to actually win this. I just have all, all the bolts. Turn three, if I would have just cast down this Lava Runner, we would have been in a lot better spot. So many bolts. Alright, we'll, we'll 
I mean, we have to keep playing our league, but that's what I'm thinking that we'll want to change with this deck is get rid of those Cloud Seers, get a Jace and a 25th land in here. Because our, our deck is so full of five drops, we need to have 25 lands. Got to hit land drops. Hey, thanks, Donahoe. Yeah, Sir Tails, our, our hands are just kind of bad there, both those games. We have two Tamios already in the deck, Pink Riots. Yeah, Tamios good. I want to keep those. I want to get rid of these things. Get another land. And... And a Jace. All right, so not a very good hand against Mono Red, of course, with all the one toughness things for Chain Whirler. Reckless Rage. What What are we doing with Reckless Rage over here, opponent? What are we doing? Come on, land! Yay! Fun. We have three mana rampant growth that also trades with one of their cards. Captain Lannery Storm. It's a good card. I think it hits pretty hard. So wouldn't be surprised if they sack the treasure before damage here to have the Lannery Storm be able to do some more. Played the Risen Reef trying to hit, you know, trying to hit another land drop where I could double spell the next turn where I could have six mana. What is this? Run amok? Just another bolt. Okay, nice. lands into play. The last two cards weren't land, so I was thinking that maybe we would hit a land here. There we go. So as you can tell, we, we get so many cards with the help of Risen Reef. We just have so many cards. We just need more mana to be able to cast our stuff. Oh, dang, Sergeant Dipples. 
Hope you're taking care of it. Alright, down to four. But we'll get the Lannery Storm out of here. And get this life linker in there. Love Nudge. Thanks so much for that support there. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Getting the hype going here on this 4th of July. I would like to shock and be able to play one of our other play a 3 drop, you know, play a Risen Reef. But that's just not not very smart to do that, I suppose. All right. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, okay, so I can Risen Reef and Cavalier. Okay, good. I was going to say, we, might, we may just find a Wild Growth Walker also, but no, we did, we did not. Alright, so I want to draw three, put two back, and then get the two Risen Reef triggers that both put lands into play. Let's put both these lands into play. And now draw three again, and we'll just put two, I'll put one land, and I don't know, Command the Dread Horde back. Let's have the land in second, so that we play an elemental next turn. We get that trigger, put that that land at second. We'll put that land into play. We're you know digging for wild growth walker, of course. The cavalier of night has lifelink though, also. Okay. Let's go this. This will just dig us farther towards um, towards Wildgrowth Walker. All right, we know we have this land on top, so we'll just put this land into play here. All right, now draw the next three. There's a Wildgrowth. Uh, we'll put put something back. It doesn't really matter what. And put the land. And then the land goes into play. Other stuff. Uh, we'll just get rid of these commands. We'll just put them back. Sure. All right. So we'll go wild growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade Light. All right. Got there. This deck is sweet. These Cavaliers are awesome with Risen Reef. It's kind of incredible. But yeah, 25th land, definitely. All right, let's get rid of these. Get rid of those. I'll get rid of one Gales for another Duress. Also... Yeah, we need that, Jace. <laughs> you can draw just so many cards with this with this deck. It's unreal. Alright, hitting our land drops. I like it.
You found your new jank? There you go, Dr. Ultra. Yeah, this deck is really strong. I think this this deck definitely has potential to be a tier one deck. Uh, the stuff that's going on here is just so strong. All right, definitely want to kill that uh, wizard, make it harder for them to cast this wizard's lightning. Not let them just have the one mana wizard's lightning here. If I just play Wild Growth Walker, obviously it just gets Wizard's Lightning. That's not a very good line for me. What do I think of M20 Grixis? So far, I mean, I just played it the one time, and to be fair, and also to be fair, I had some good matchups, but I liked what was going on with the deck. So, of course, I, I want to set it up so I play Wild Growth and then Branch Walker both in the same turn. Here. I'm not sure if you really need Multani, honestly. I don't I don't think I don't know if you like Multani is fine, but the cards in in this deck are all really, really strong. Like you'd, you'd you know, you'd have to play Multani over another, um, uh, over another one of the Cavaliers, and the Cavaliers are awesome, and I, I don't think you really want Multani over a Cavalier, to be honest. Rock. Don't sack the treasure. You don't your creature doesn't have trample. That's not how that works. So we can attack we can keep attacking back and forth for three. I guess I should be attacking with Wild Growth also. Oh, wow. They just chump blocked? They didn't even have, like, a, a lightning strike to throw out the Yurok? I think we got this from here. Basically all we need to do is draw any enter the battlefield creature and then we're looking very good. Yeah, I think I think we are playing against a newer player. With the card choices in here, it's probably, you know, like the cards they have in their collection and stuff like that. Hmm. Sure. I think that's... Well it's, well, it's nice to have the Wild Growth Walker around. Um, I mean, honestly, that's just not going to beat us. Yeah. I mean, something that... I mean, I guess... 
like basically they would need something like experimental frenzy they would go crazy and so i'll just hold the negate in case there's like an experimental frenzy two and one We had plenty of lands that game, but that's okay. I like having lands. Is there any card in the new set that you'd put in the Niv Reborn deck? Absolutely. I'd put the Golas for sure in that deck. Definitely Golas. That may be the only one, to be honest. There's not a whole lot of good two color spells. Oh, Risen Reef. Risen Reef's tight. Hmm. Is Niv Mizzet an elemental? No, it's a dragon avatar, right? I think it's a dragon avatar. Nah, I probably still wouldn't even put Risen Reef in the, that deck. So actually, probably just Golas is what I'm thinking there. All right, Paradise Druid's a nice one. Domri's not a nice one. Let's just fuck. <laughs> Have at it, boys. I'm starting to get miffed now. Land. Dang. If we would have hit the land, then even if the Paradise Druid dies, we'd get to Cavalier next turn. So I wanted that, but I suppose Cast Down's good against the Gruul deck, though. Also, is my bread and butter. Hmm. I already have three black, but I don't have three blue. Double ramp and grow thing is so nice. Just a 5-6 that puts two lands into play. It's very nice. Yeah, Risen Reef is is going to be the defining card from him this set for standard. Definitely there. Thanks, Jettage. Happy fourth. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. All right, I got a bunch of growth chamber guardians. <laughs>
All right, we'll take this. Or not. Um... considering wild growth walker i was kind of hoping the cavalier of night was going to die they would just put the wild growth walker into play get some more lands into play Wildgrowth Walker is an elemental. Triggers. Get some more lands. <laughs> this card's unreal. This, this deck, I mean, sorry. This deck's unreal. Alright, Wildgrowth Walker dead. I have to keep killing my Wildgrowth Walker after I keep bringing it back. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good land. Um, so do I want to just go double explore? Or Cavalier of Gales. If I had more lands, I'd want a Cavalier of Gales. It's... Oh, I can't even double explore. I have three of these blue-black lands. That's rude. I guess, you know, they had them all up because of the Cavalier of Night. Alright, I guess we'll just Gales. Get the Noxious Grasps. I mean, the card that I'm probably the most scared of is Rekindling Phoenix, I suppose. Even though Phoenix can't even get through Gales or Thorns. Both of these are bigger. I'll just play two Noxious Grasps over the two Cloudkin Seers. The Noxious Grabs do get to kill Nissas and Domries and all that kind of stuff, too. I mean, I suppose I'm supposed to be playing Masker Girl. Gets rid of Rekindling Phoenix and everything. I don't know. Doesn't really seem like we need it. <laughs> this deck is kind of nuts. Yeah, Julius, this is a good one. I think it's, you know, I think it's real close to being real good, too. I guess I had, you know, I had Krasis in my deck, and I guess you just don't, you don't even need Krasis in this deck. Uh, just having more of the Cavaliers instead of the Krasis. Krasis is, honestly, the Cavaliers are, are just awesome. And, of course, the, the Risen Reefs are just insane. Yeah, you know your deck has just a ridiculous amount of value when you can just say, I don't even need Crisis. Hey, Tag Force. 
Happy Fourth of July. So do I want to grasp the Guardian? Yeah. I don't really want them getting more Guardians. I think right now, I think a bad matchup for this deck is Nexus. I think I think this deck can kind of hang with all the mid-range and aggro stuff. And honestly, I think the sideboard should probably be tailored a lot more towards Nexus. Because I do think Nexus would be a really bad matchup for, for this deck. But, um, besides Nexus, it kind of seems like it has enough value to kind of hang with everything else. I, I don't think Grixis, I, I honestly don't think Grixis can, can handle this deck. Hey, what's up, Key Muriel? This deck just has too much value for Grixis, to be honest. Hey, Mr. Previously, happy 4th of July. I guess I should have shocked in the breeding pool so we'd have triple green for Cavalier next turn. No accord. No. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. Wow. All these Cavaliers are just would be so awesome against Grixis. They don't have like a lot of good removal for them. They get get good value and everything. So yeah, I, I think that the sideboard could be retailored, and you know the the two cards change in the main deck that I was talking about. But yeah, this deck is very real. This is the best deck that we've played so far. It's not my favorite. The Chandra Tribe is still probably my favorite, but this is the best deck. No, it's a hat. I have a hat. Here. My 4th of July hat. Yeah, Unmoored Egos could be a good sideboard card for this deck. And probably more enchantment removal. For Nexus decks. I don't have an American flag tie now. We haven't ha done a very good job of actually having Wild Growth Walker. I'm going to. I would. Like switching out the Cloudkin Sears for a 25th land and one Jace. No, just regular slacks. Not any American flag pants either. This camera doesn't really go up higher too much because, see, I have a. I have like another oh, wall here, so I can't really. Go up higher there. All right. Do I want to cast down Lava Runner?
6-0 so far with your mono blue pirate brew. Awesome. Yeah, spec Spectral Sailor is very sweet. I agree. That card's really cool. Hmm. Giving myself another chance, like for the next two cards, see if we find Wild Growth Walker in the next two cards. So I could have Wild Growth plus Jade Light next turn if we do. Your rock. Alright, I'll play that. Honestly, casting Command the Dread Horde and just losing, like, you know, two life and just getting back, like, these 1-1s, one really not that bad. I'm glad our opponent played those things, though, before, before just attacking with Chain Whirler. It'd be a lot harder to actually block Chain Whirler with Yurok. Go down to six. I think I can go to six. Where's Wild Growth? Or a Cavalier. Okay, so I can attack and trade your rock for Chain Whirler and gain three life. Nah. Yeah, Phoenix makes an elemental creature token. So yeah, that would trigger pass to blockers. Alright, so they got Chain Whirler. I'm at 9, I draw Wild Growth Walker, and we're good. Alright, not Wild Growth Walker, but Tamiyo gets your rock back. That's good. Dueling you will be excellent research. I follow the tracks of the wise. All right, got the game. Hey, Ludo. Happy America Day. All right, we've been playing against a lot of mono red. I think we got our cyborging down. Take out those four. 
Gonna take out a Cavalier Gales also, bring in an extra Duress. Trophy. Found Wild Growth Walker, but don't have Explore stuff yet. Light up that stage. Presumably, our opponent wants to play the shock. Does that does not kill wild growth? All right, that's fine. Oh, uh, see, if they got chain whirler. Hopefully not. Sorry, Moby. That happens though. Did you put in that 25th land? This is It's Amazing by Jim. Hmm. So if my opponent has Lava Coil here or even just two burn spells to get rid of the Wild Growth Walker, then the, the Branch Walker isn't really doing a ton for me. really want to just draw the Cavaliers. Do I have anything to kill that? I don't have anything to kill that, do I? I guess we're going to have to try to race then. Oh yeah, we got the trophy. Okay. Alright, we got something. Now they get to go until they hit three land drops. Yeah, Chandra Frenzy Steam can really, really tough to beat. Not looking good for us. I think the green cavalier is the best of the cavaliers, but honestly the blue and the black are very good also. I guess which one has impressed me the most is the black cavalier. I, like during the set review, I thought the black cavalier was the worst of the cavaliers. Um, but I'm wrong, the white, the white cavalier is the worst of the cavaliers. Or even the red. I think the white and the, like the... All the Sultai Cavaliers are awesome. 
I, I definitely underrated the Black Cavalier, especially with Riz Risen Reef. You know, I just didn't really, you know, consider it with Risen Reef and stuff. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. We did a really good job of drawing explore creatures, but didn't draw anything besides that. Yeah, our, our sideboard needs more things to get rid of frenzies, for sure, and just like uh, wilderness reclamations and stuff like that. You know, this is like a you know first try at the deck. We can adjust. Yep, there you go. There's the Discord channel, Dr. Brew Haha. Discord channels for everybody. I could just concede this. We we can't win anymore, I don't think. I'm just going to play their whole deck. Uh, they hit the one damage, the one mana spell. All right, we're gonna need to be able to go longer. Let's get these commands back in here. Or this Cavalier. Get, gotta get these things back in here. Alright, Paradise Druid out. One command. Not all of those commands, just one. And... I don't know, we have a lot of top-end stuff. We just didn't, we didn't draw any of these cards last time. Drew none of them. Alright, I guess I'm just going to basically going to replace I guess all I'm doing here is taking out the Paradise Druid for a Command the Dread Horde from the last game Yeah, real smorf Yeah, that the you're asking about that pirate flyer. Yeah, we had a, uh, we played that card yesterday in our blue white flyers deck, and it felt really good. Uh, that that card's gonna see play for sure. I like that card.
No, not Steam Ken. So next turn I'm playing Cavalier of Gales, and then playing my six land. So then after that we could have seven mana, go Reef and Tamio. Nah, let's see if we draw like removal for Steamkin or something. What do you mean, no need to try? Like, how do you recommend it to the sideboard? Is that what you're asking? Or cards to change? Or what do you... What's your question? I don't... Can you be more specific? Really? Just scoops it up? Do they... I don't know, were they like watching the stream and saw our hand or something? Or I mean, our, hand, our next turn was going to be awesome. I was going to put the Woodland Cemetery back second, and then another, then whatever, the other card that we put back doesn't really matter. I was going to play the Breeding Pool and tapped. And so the next turn we would have drawn whatever card, and then I would have been able to play Wild Growth, then Explore Creature... And, or I could have just started with, um, I wanted to put the, the land back so like Explore Creature would draw us that land, basically. Okay, replacing in the sideboard to make it better. Um, I mean, I don't think you need the Masker Girls in here, but you probably want something... I don't know exactly what to play, honestly, though. But you, you want something that deals with Frenzy better than what we have, and we probably need a little bit better removal. I mean, maybe maybe just putting in Masker Girls is what you're supposed to be doing in, in the Mono Red matchup, to be honest, but... I feel like Steamkin, like, we don't... I feel like the sideboard doesn't have good enough stuff against Steamkin and... Frenzy. Like, those are the two cards you have to be worried about, Steamkin and Frenzy. That's a lot of fives. Okay. So I only have one green source right now. Do I just get rid of both Cavaliers? Or do I get rid of Watery Grave? 
and take one of the Cavaliers back with two lands. No, we're probably going to need the lands. Ah, <sighs> Mono Red again. This is our fourth match against Mono Red here in this league. Be nice to play the deck against other things than just Mono Red it. Every single round. But also, for the question, you know, the person that asked about what to change in the, the deck to make it better against Mono Red because they got crushed against the deck. It's to realize that Mono Red's that kind of deck that you don't usually like barely lose to Mono Red. I mean, it happens, but there's a lot of times that Mono Red can just really snowball with Frenzy and everything and just win by a mile and and makes it feel makes the matchup feel worse than what it actually is, kind of thing. Just have to like Mono Red's such a good deck that with a three color. With a three color deck like this, like you're you're not going to be beating mono red 100% of the time. So you're going to be we're going to be losing sometimes to mono red even if we have a lot of stuff in the sideboard for it. It's just going to happen because mono red is just very uh, consistent and powerful. Got three green right now. Alright, we'll get this thing in. Hey Rune. Glad you glad you enjoyed the Chandra Tribal deck. Yeah, that deck was so much fun. That's been my favorite deck to play so far. Wow. A lot of respect for Risen Reef. Using a lightning strike on it whenever they got the chain whirler up next. A lot of respect with that card. Alright, good. I wanted the branch walker to be a 3 2. So I want to make sure to play um, Jade Light first. Because if I played Branch Walker first and it was just a land and it was a 2-1, then the Branch Walker would be dying to this Chain Whirler. So I had to play Jade Light first, make sure to leave a spell on top, and then um, and then play Branch Walker. As far as what I'm asking for here, I don't know. I mean, I think we want one of the Cavaliers. So we have, what, two Eurox, three Cavalier of Gales, three Cavalier of Night... I mean, I could just say Wild Growth Walker, of course. I'm going to say Cavalier of Gales, though. No, I guess it should be Knight, shouldn't it? Ah, we had a Gales. Rough. Hey, Rattleclaw, thanks for that donation there for Esper Reanimate Donation Deck. Thanks, Rattleclaw. Um, what day... Um, yeah, I'm filled up for today, of course, but so besides today, what other day would you like me to play it? You know, tomorrow or whatever day. And then, uh, first through fourth on that day, what, what time do you want me to play it? Um, you know, which slot would you like? Every day and every slot is open. So I'm gonna get two for one myself. Have a lightning. I'm gonna have a lightning strike two for one myself. Ugh, or a shock. It's even worse. Did not want them to kill Tamio because I need Tamio to get back the Cavalier here. Tomorrow fourth. Do not harm my scrolls.
Could grab the Risen Reef. Nah, it should just be getting there. The storied past holds our future. All right, so putting the um, Hinterland Harbor back second, because I, I don't really want this Hinterland Harbor. So that's why I'm going with the Cavalier of Gales first. So we get to put that land back. So the next turn, you know, next turn we'll draw the Knight, but then we'll play Thorns. Um, and then, you know, put one of these things into play so we don't actually have to draw that Hinterland Harbor. If, if my opponent doesn't kill Tamiyo, though, I could tick up and just get rid of that Harbor also. I mean, well, I, I, if they don't get rid of Tamiyo, obviously I am going to be taking up. So I could just do that and then be able to play the Cavalier of Night, the Lifelinker, next. But I think I want to play Thorns next. Okay, cool. All right, so tomorrow 4th. And I'll check the sideboard. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was the only land. So two wild growths, two risen reefs. I don't think we have three of anything left in the deck. I think it's all just two ofs. Now, one, two, three, four, five, one mana short. So let's go, since everything's two ofs, let's go with our Yurok. We got two of those. Okay, no. Should have said Risen Reef or Cavalier of Gales or Wild Growth Walker. <laughs> Obviously. The Okay, so the question is, would you consider one of the Grixis colored Cavaliers for the Grixis deck whenever um, the four mana no Nicol Bolas, the fire. creature, rotates? The Black Cavaliers doesn't make a lot of sense in that deck. You'd have to play, be playing a lot more creatures for the Black Cavalier to make sense. Um, the Blue Cavalier, though, does make a lot of sense. Like that's The Blue Cavalier is the one that makes the most sense in that deck. All right, so two... If I get back Command the Dread Horde, and I Dread Horde these Wild Growth Walkers, we do two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... I can get like three Wild Growth Walkers, a Jade Light, and a Branch Walker. And just hope they don't have a shock. If they have a shock, I die. If they don't have a shock, though, we gain a whole bunch of life. I don't think my opponent has a shock. But shock. All right, so I'm going to go with shock, I die. I have learned much from my ancestors. We'll see if this is a shocking end. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, I kind of want to get Risen Reef back. Oh well. We have the shock. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, give me that Risen Reef. Alright. Does not look like they had a shock. Sometimes you just gotta live on the edge, you know? Sure, if they had a shock, we would've died. Sometimes you gotta do that just to feel something. Gotta live on the edge. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Gotta live dangerously there. Oh no, Arena, don't don't slow up. Come on, you can do it, Arena. You can do it. Oh no, Arena's lagging. Come on. Come on. You can make it. I want to keep the flyer. I mean, I know that the Steam King gets him a lot more mana, but getting rid of the Chain Whirler allows me to attack, because I can't attack through a double first strike. Yeah, it could be the network. Um, my network's a little bit worse today than normal. There was a, um, there were some storms here a little while ago, uh, like in about three hours ago from now, a little bit less than three hours ago. My my power shut off a couple of times, and and so I, I bet the connection's probably a little bit worse today. But yeah, it looks like it's. There's just a little bit of a spike there. But yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, the power doesn't go off while we're streaming here because that would be really bad. The client has been a little, a little more glitchy since the update, yeah. Has been for me as well. All right, well, we got our mono red sideboard plans down pretty pat. I still don't think I really want Mask a Girl. This is a sketcher. Just the one black source with Cavalier of Night. But of course, we're on the draw. We're going to have three draw steps before our turn three. Hopefully, we find some kind of three draw by then. First draw step in our deck is the blue red. Or sorry, blue green. Lands. Okay, at least it's a black land. At least that slows them down, takes up their whole turn. Keeping the trophy because we're going to need it to be able to beat a frenzy if there's a frenzy. We can't really get rid of it. Branchwalker did did its job. Held down the fort. Yeah, 
Nah, Deckmaster doesn't have the M20 cards yet. All right, another win. So even though our deck's not like perfect against mono red, I mean we are three and one. There. Against mono red. So. Five and one overall, three and one against red. Hmm. I guess we are unable to claim our prize. Who knows what's going on right now? Well, our deck was cool. There we go. Okay. So, Sultai Cavaliers. Deck certainly felt powerful. Um, these Cavaliers are all very, very good. Hmm. Well, I wanted to talk about the deck a little bit and try changing some stuff. No, Command the Dreadhorde is not overkill in the main. That card is too powerful not to have. You should not be taking out Command the Dreadhorde. That card's, that card's too good. All right, so we're talking about taking out the cloud, the cloud conceers, adding maybe one of these Jaces, because our deck really does mill itself out a lot, and then another land, and I don't know if like the extra land is just another drowned catacomb. Like maybe I guess it's just another drowned catacomb, because you know we do need a whole lot of blue and a whole lot of black for these cav for these cavaliers, triple blue, triple black kind of thing. Um, yeah, see, Swamp... I mean, I guess I would kind of rather play Island than Swamp because of Jace and, Cav and that Cavalier. And, of course, Island cast Risen Reef also. Um, you put in Drowned Catacomb. Yeah, you're kind of you're kind of help trying to have the Risen Reef help you out there the the mana colors are tough um so yeah i'd want to change that for the main deck and give that a try uh for the next time that we play this and then sideboard i don't know exactly what we want to do there yeah skylands are really good Nope, no Hydro Crisis or Nyssa. Got these really, really nice Cavaliers instead. It doesn't really feel like Massacre Girl is necessary, but Massacre Girl is like the card for Mono White, I suppose. Veil of Summer is basically just for mass manipulation. I don't want Veil of Summer even really against Asper these days. It's just, it's hard to have this actually work with Little Teferi on the battlefield and everything. I think that we can just outgrind them without Veil of Summer. This is basically just for mass manipulation. Um, so yeah, like, so that's basically all the Veil of Summer is for. So I, I think we'd probably only want like one or two. Yes, I know it works against discard, but not not if they have a Teferi in play. If they like, you know, you draw Veil of Summer later on when they have Teferi, it's just just a dead card. Well, I've I've definitely already had that happen. You know, like they have little Teferi, they just get to not only thought erasure during my draw step, but I can't do anything with my Veil of Summer. Um. So basically, as far as sideboard-wise, I kind of want some, some Rex Ages that could get doubled from Yurok that could destroy Wilderness Reclamation and um, 
Wilderness Reclamation, Experimental Frenzy, and then all of the white enchantments, all the enchantment removal in white and history banali and stuff like that. I feel like Rex Ages would be good in those three matches, which could be some of the tougher matches. It really depends on how popular mass manipulation is, whether you really need Veil of Summer or not. It's, it's really possible you don't. I probably just wouldn't wouldn't play it. May not, you know, like... That's kind of the, the thing. Maybe just like one and get two Rex Ages in here. I haven't seen very much, much mass manipulation myself, but if you're playing against a lot of it, you'd want more Veil of Summer. Um, the other thing about against mass manipulation, you, you, you'll you be bringing in the Masker Girls in those matchups also, and even if they steal a bunch of stuff, you try to Masker Girl and then kill everything after they steal it and get stuff back with Command the Dread Horde. So you, you have like that kind of stuff to do against the mass manipulation decks also. Um, the thing, there's so many good sideboard options to just kind of play in general. Fortunately, Reclamation Sage is not an elemental shaman. It's an elf shaman. Um, but yeah. Lots of, lots of options there. I would definitely be worried about Nexus with this kind of deck, though. Um, I do like how, like, Duresses and Negates are good sideboard cards, though. Like, you already have Duresses and Negates. Like, that's that's a good start. And then, you know, Trophy. And then Rex Ages would help there, too. You could have, you know, could have Unmoored Ego, as we were talking about. Like, that could also be another card to have against the Nexus decks, where you can even rebuy Unmoored Ego with Tamiyo and, you know, name, like, Reclamation with the first one, name Nexus with the second one, and so on. Um, I'm honestly not sure if I'd want Veil of Summer, though. I probably wouldn't. If you're more worried about mass manipulation than, than you are about Nexus, then play, on, then play the Veil of Summer and not Ego. I'd be more worried about Nexus myself. Because like negates also counter mass manipulation, and I said, and like I said, you have the backup thing with Masker Girl and everything. Because Masker Girl's Masker Girl's definitely good against the the Nissa decks. You want you want this against the Nissa decks and and Mono White. So I'd be more worried of Nexus. All right, so those are some maybe some updates. You know, we still kind of have to have the the meta game settle more for to really see what we want to be doing in the sideboard, but I definitely like those changes to the main deck. Um, and honestly, it's possible the Jace isn't necessary. But I definitely, we definitely need the 25th land, though. So that's, 25th land needs to go in here, 100%. But Jace, with the tick up, you're mostly going to be milling yourself for Command the Dread Horde, mostly. Yeah, Veil of Summer also very good against Grixis control, where Grixis doesn't have uh, Grixis doesn't have Teferi. So yeah, Veil of Summer is awesome against Grixis, but I think that this deck would just outgrind Grixis anyway. Like I don't think you need need the Veil of Summer, but that's another really good matchup for Veil of Summer. All right, uh, Sultai Cavalier, really really strong deck here. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching uh, Soul Tide Cavaliers here, and I will see you for the next video.